Hey guys, so we're gonna mix it up a little bit today. Um, but first, just a quick story. So I'll never forget years ago, um, I was at jazz camp as a student, and uh, one of the other students, while we were listening to a faculty concert, uh, was able to say every single chord change that was happening in a tune that the faculty was playing. Um, and you know, he said that he didn't know the tune, um, he was just able to do it with his ears. And you know, obviously everybody was super impressed. And uh, I'll never forget, there was also uh, another kid there with perfect pitch who was like sitting down the row and he was also impressed and like he couldn't do it. Um, so when, you know, when I encountered this phenomenon, if you will, I was like, wow, I need to be able to figure out, I need to figure out what this system is. And so, you know, years later when I got to college, um, that's when I started learning about, you know, ways that you can kind of um, systematically organize harmonic devices, essentially. Um, you can put labels to different types of sounds and that will essentially help you um, when you hear chords and when you hear chord changes, you'll be able to hear all the sounds and put it all together and know what the chords are. Um, and so I was really fortunate when I was at the Brubeck Institute, I was able to uh, study with Joe Gilman, who is an amazing pianist. It was really cool because I got to get a different perspective, I think, studying with a pianist as opposed to a horn player. And so he showed me how this whole idea works, you know? So I got hip to these harmonic systems and Roman numeral analysis and stuff like that. And, you know, it brings up a really interesting thing, which is that a lot of people think that like theory and ear training, they don't go together. Um, you know, a lot of times they think that theory is one approach and then ear training is like another approach. And really, a little bit of theory can actually improve your ears dramatically. So I found this was the case for me, you know, kind of learning this system. And it wasn't too long after that when I was able to, you know, and I remember being really amazed and obviously thrilled uh, about the fact that I could then do what I remembered my friend doing years ago. And I could hear a standard and it just, it made sense to me. It was just putting together the pieces and, and you know, it got to the point where I could just hear a standard one time down as long as it wasn't too crazy and I would just know what the changes were. So, with that in mind, I thought today I could try doing that, you know, essentially live, and you know, what I'll do is just, you know, I'm gonna take you guys downstairs in a second, and I'm gonna try to do this with a standard that I've never heard before, and in order to do that, I figured what I could do is I've got my girlfriend Melissa over here. I told her I was gonna do this, so hopefully she's still game. Melissa, you still down? All right, cool. So, I told her, that, she's just reading a book. Okay, cool. All right, so I told her that um, we were gonna pull out a list of jazz standards on Wikipedia, and we we're gonna select one. Wait, give me a minute. Cool, no problem. So we're gonna select a jazz standard on Wikipedia. Okay. And I'm assuming it will be something that I don't know, because there are a ton of standards there, <laughs> as you can see. And once we select it, I'm gonna run downstairs, and I'm gonna see if I can learn it in five minutes. So that's coming next. I mean, there's a lot of them here. There's a lot of standards. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, okay, how about I Hear a Rhapsody? Okay. That sounds really nice. I Hear a Rhapsody. That one I actually do know. Oh, oh It's a okay. nice tune. Um, you know, I'm just going to go to the top then okay. <laughs> to make it easier. Uh, a Beautiful Friendship. Okay, Beautiful Friendship. Okay, that one I've heard once, to be honest. Okay. Like years ago. Um, but let's do it, because honestly, I don't know this one. I remember hearing it once, like, years ago. I don't remember it anymore, so. I, I don't remember it either. You don't remember it? Okay, no, should I, I do it? it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it. All right, so let me run downstairs. A Beautiful Friendship is the tune. And so, essentially, I'm just gonna pull it up. Um, I'm gonna set a timer for, t uh, for five minutes. I'm going to see if I can learn it in five minutes. And you shall see. And so this is something I just did a master class on with jazz lesson videos. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's again, it's, it's a hip concept. Anybody can get into it. You don't have to have um, amazing ears. Getting into it will actually help you develop amazing ears, ideally. Um, and so what I'm going to do is turn on the camera. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to use my phone. For this, I'm turning on the camera, I'm turning on audio, so we'll switch over to this audio. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna close out of this. But still got you here. Okay, cool, so yeah, essentially this type of thing, you know, it's a way of really developing your ears and understanding harmonic language. 
Um, so hopefully I'll be able to actually pull this off. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a track. So there are a few versions that come up. There's an Ahmad Jamal version. There's an Ella Fitzgerald version. I'm gonna go with the Ella Fitzgerald version because I think it's nice to learn this stuff. It's always nice to learn standards from uh, a vocalist. All right, and then, hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Okay, cool, awesome. So to start, I'm just gonna listen to it. I'm guessing this is an intro. Just practicing, so I think I know the key, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, what I'm really listening for is just the harmony, and so the key actually doesn't matter um, when you're using this system. So at this point, what I'm just thinking is like right now we're in the bridge, and it's a two-five to the four chord. Cool, that's a backdoor two-five sound. That's a three six and then a two five with a little sub played in E for Magma down into. So this is him. This is like a tritone sub into the four. And then it's like a minor two five to a two five one. Awesome. So yeah, we're at the top again. So it's like one. And then it's like a subdominant, we call it, down into the four. And then it's a minor two five to secondary dominant. That's the two dominant, essentially. And then it's a two five one. Oh, now we're skipping to the bridge. Okay. So it's an A A B A tune. But there we just play one A and we skip to the bridge. So that we all we went over all that before. I can see there's only like 20 seconds left on the track, so. So I'm just gonna put it back in the beginning now. Alright, cool. Now I'm gonna play along. changes now. Now I'm going to see if I can pick up the melody. And the, the, the intro is cool too. Essentially with the intro they just start on the root. Uh, they do kind of a, a walk down into the six dominant and then a two five one. This is the end Beautiful friend, I know for your eyes, told me so. 
Cool, so I'm almost there on the melody. I'm just gonna skip to the bridge because that's the main part that I still gotta get. <laughs> It's important to know that knowing the chords first, you'll notice I've kind of learned the chords first, informs me, you know, with how the melody works and functions. So it helps me memorize the melody a lot faster because I understand how the melody notes are working, you know, um, in conjunction with the chords. So now I'll see if I can play this solo. Um, hopefully I've got the melody memorized. We'll see. <laughs> but sometimes it can help just to learn a few lyrics here and there just to you know know you know the point of the song like you know this song's really cool it's talking about how it's the start of a friendship you know um uh you know the romance has be begun or sorry it's it's the end of a friendship because the romance has begun essentially um and so the bridge starts with we were always like sister and brother so <laughs> Helps me remember that part, uh, and then after that, did the. So back on the bridge again. Uh, oh. Mixing parts up, so let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Back in the bridge. Uh. Uh. Uh, so the bridge. I'm still not getting. Uh, almost there. It's always the bridge. I think I got it, you know. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, if I were to revisit this next week, um, maybe the melody I would I would forget. Maybe the bridge I would need to refresh on the bridge for a second. Uh, but the important thing is to know that, you know, if I was playing this with a band, I would be able to hear all the changes and just know what they were as they were coming in, like I was able to now. And again, you know, I don't have perfect pitch. This wasn't a natural, like, born ability for me. This is something that I developed. And um, anybody can do it. I really mean that. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you guys want to get more into this, definitely check out the master class that I just did on this. I would love to know what you guys think. Um, it's a great resource. Um, I've always wanted to make something like this. 
going through all these different puzzle pieces and harmonic devices, everything from secondary dominance, which you heard me talking about. I think every, yeah, like literally everything from this tune actually is in the master class. Like there's secondary dominance in this tune. There's, uh, you know, sub dominance uh, that go into the four. There's three, six, two fives. Um, yeah, like ev everything from this tune uh, ends up being in that master class as far as the puzzle pieces, you know, and the harmonic devices and everything. So uh, meanwhile, I don't think the timer ever worked. So I don't know if this was really five minutes, but hopefully it was about five minutes. It was probably a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe it ended up being 10 minutes. But the point is, um, any of you guys can do this. I, sin I sincerely mean that. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys found this entertaining um, to just see how my process is a, is a little bit with this uh, type of thing. And again, yeah, if you want to get deeper into this, definitely check out the full master class. Um, and uh, yeah, there's also a lot of playing material as well, you know, um, in, in, in addition to all the harmonic devices and analysis and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I even bust out my piano chops a little bit, which you know, is nothing to write home about. But yeah, guys, um, thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, click the like button. I think you're supposed to click like the bell for notifications or I'm supposed to say that or something. I don't know. I think I'm supposed to say these things at the beginning of the video, but whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. That was a lot of fun and I'll see you next time.